to really just get better, and it's showing how he's been playing. Those first two weeks were really good. Last week, as I mentioned earlier, an outlier to this offense. Only nine starts last season. Stafford throws on first down. It's gathered in by Puka Nakua. What a story over the first three weeks. 30 receptions, most ever by a player over his first three NFL games. And right on cue with Puka Nakua, the concentration that he has goes and tips it right to himself, gets the completion. Everything about him is physical, concentration, awareness. The first thing we asked about, hey, did you know how good he was going to be? And Sean McVay said, no, not at all. Right guard, Stafford with time. He fires, and it's broken up. Dallas Flowers getting a piece of it. Nakua, the intended receiver. At the top of the screen. If you notice his pace, that's what I've always loved about Puka Nakua. The first two or three. They start from their own six following the penalty on special teams, and Williams finds a big hole. Going back to Puka Nakua, the rookie wide receiver, the phenomenal rookie wide receiver. You see him fourth in reception yards, second in receptions, only behind Keenan Allen of the Los Angeles Chargers. But everything about Puka has been phenomenal. And really, the best thing that happened was the injury to Cooper Cup. It allowed for Matthew Stafford and Puka to really start to develop a relationship as early as the OTAs and carrying on into the season. Rams hope to have Cup back in the lineup next week. Stafford fires the core of the catch. And a flag. Kenny Moore with the hit on Puka Nakua, his third reception, gained him 26 yards plus the penalty. Such a great feel for sitting in the zones. As soon as he's running, he's checking out, all right, what's Julian Blackman doing to me? What's Dallas Flowers doing to me? And then there's Kenny Moore with the hit on a defenseless receiver to the head or neck area. They're going to call that one every time. So 26 yards on the reception, 15 more, and Nakua sets another NFL record. Most receptions, first four career games. 177th overall pick out of BYU, 15 catches, week two against the Niners. 30 over his first three games, already three here today in the first quarter. Right, and it's not always about the measurables. He dropped because he didn't have a fast 40 time. Here's Rivers again up the middle. From the 35, play action. Stafford complete. Nakoa reached up, made the catch. Still, Still running. going. Puka Nakoa with his fourth reception today. Three of them have gone for over 25 yards. Look at the design by Sean McVay. Yet Puka actually motioning and going through the line of scrimmage to run his over route. Gets to the same spot on the field a lot quicker, and that is extremely hard to defend. You're a linebacker, you see a wide receiver running through the line of scrimmage, you kind of freeze, you don't know what he's doing. Big first half once again for Puka Nakua. He will also his tempo. I talked about his tempo because that is how he's able to always find the hole in the zone. Not everything has to be at a 4-3 speed or a 4-4 speed. What you have to do is let those defenders clear out. Let the safeties clear out and then go right underneath them. He makes those tough catches. I asked him when I talked to him on the phone this week what he wants people to know about him. And he said simply, I love football. Guys, it was so interesting. He told me this is such a dream. He said it wasn't that long ago I was sitting on my couch playing Madden and uh, Stafford, Aaron Donald, Cooper Cup were the guys that I was playing against. And now I'm on the field playing with them. What a dream it is for this young guy. The Hall of Famer, Marshall Falk. Five rushing touchdowns, first four games. Here's Williams inside the 40. First down and a lot more. The tight end and get in his gap. Tyler Higby, we talked about everything that he does. I thought you were JV. I'm the JV. They're, they're the JV. There you go. One timeout <laughs> remaining. Stafford complete. Nakoa inside the 30. Down to the 28 yard line. 
Bucks offered on first down, complete. It's Nakua. There is a flag as Stafford took a hit. Holding. Offense number 70. 10 yard penalty. You play first down. 100 receiving yards in three of the first four career games. Wow. Over 100. First since Harlan Hill in 1954. Incredible. By the training staff. Missed eight starts last year due to injury. Williams puts up a first down. And it's going to pass. From the 35, the give. Here's Williams. Williams. Nicole with seven receptions today, 121 yards. Fake to Williams. And then Stafford fires. There he is. You called it. Yep. Nakua out to the 45 yard line, a 20 yard pass play. That was their bread and butter to start the, the game in the first half. Just magnificent by Puka. Understanding where to sit down, always finding that hole, and Stafford and him on the same page. Got away from it in the second half. They were looking to run the ball, run some clock. Sporadic in motion. There's Rivers up the middle. I imagine Puka will be the first option for Matthew Stafford. Third down and four. Stafford throws. There he is. Nakua to the end zone. Rams win. With his ninth catch of the game, his first NFL touchdown, it comes in overtime. The miscommunication, you hadn't seen it all game from the Colts secondary. They were usually on point, and Kenny Moore had to bust an assignment with his, with his other cornerback. Leaves Puka wide open for the touchdown. What a game. What a game. Rams had a 23-0 lead late in the third quarter. Colts scored 23 consecutive points to send it into overtime. And then a 75-yard drive. Stafford connecting with Nakua, who had a huge day. Nine receptions, 163 yards, and his first NFL touchdown. He is something special. Watching Puka pregame, all smiles, taking in the moment. Nakua with an NFL record, 39 receptions over his first four games.